Hello, people. Um, this is going to be really short. I just wanted to come on quickly and show you what I've done um, for my little, oh my gosh, guys, I, I you know I am so not good at tutorials, I, I, <laughs> but somebody wanted me to um, sort of delineate how I coffee dye these, um, these index cards with avocado. Um, and so what I've done is I put a little video together and I cut out a lot just because some of it was repetitive on one video My dog started barking like crazy um, And it was just noisy. <laughs> it, was, it was terrible. So anyway um, So the tutorial uh, it, it's not a tutorial. It's just a how I dye avocado paper um, So it's just going to show you how to take blocks of index cards whatever brand Hopefully you guys can see those okay. Whatever brand, right? And turn them into these pretty um, pink cards. And they came out um, really nice. Um, some of them have like some staining on, some um, stain marks. And um, there's some other, there's more than this. I, I think I did a block, a, a two, um, two, of these two sets of these right and so I just wanted to show you quickly okay so I was saying on the video and I'm probably being a little bit repetitive I don't know even why I'm coming on and making this part of the, the video I just woke up by the way sorry um, anyway um, so I but I wanted to come on and just say that I'm the video is really choppy because I tended to um, drop them in the avocado dye and just take the whole day and leave them there and then come back to it after they dry. But I hope it makes sense. And then I wanted to show you up close this way so that you can see what some of them, they, some of the coloring is. It's, it's like you can't really see it all that great. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's, that's what I will do. So it's kind of fun to look at a big pile of yumminess like that. Um, when it starts out this way. This is a whole set here of, of this pack. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, I hope everybody's having a beautiful weekend. I have one class to teach tomorrow, only one class, and I'm off from the uh, private school, the high school where I teach. So I get like a little bit of a break um, tomorrow, and I've got some custom orders that I'm trying to finish. I say this on the video, the last video um, that I made, I, I gotta stop doing um, custom orders for a while unless they're really small because I just tend to lag on them and I don't like doing that. Um, so I, you know, I'm slow and I kind of like do stuff and stop and think and then pick it up again. It depends, it depends on what I've got going on. Um, and right now um, I've got, one baby right here that's not sick but i got another my other fur baby um he's starting to hobble around now so um, we're just kind of preparing ourselves and we've got we're trying to decide um when the, the time comes if we're actually going to um have the person come to our house and put him down or if we're actually going to um, take him to the vet that we've always used for the last 10 years for him and my basset hound um, if we're going to take him there and I think we've never been through this before but I have several friends um, my best friend in California and my uh, other best friend in Hawaii um, they who teaches at the University of Hawaii they actually um, have put dogs down recently and so I've just been kind of sort of, you know, asking them what to expect. And then my sister also um, put her dog down, her dog of several years um, that she brought from California um, to home to Texas um, with her. So um, it's tough, but we, you know, we're, we're just making decisions. And But he's still eating, guys. And I'm sorry to be so nonlinear um, and stream of consciousy, but he's he's been eating and he's you know, drinking his water, but I think it's the pills that he, the pills that he has. That's what's sort of um, causing him to um, keep going. But now he's starting to hobble on one leg, and it's just I don't know. So anyway, that's a ramble. So I'm gonna stop talking now and um, go and wake up. 
I've only had one cup of coffee. It's time for another cup. Because as my mother says, I got to figure out who in the I am first before I can start talking to people. <laughs> but I've done one cup of coffee. My mom's crazy. Um, but that she said, has said that, guys, ever since I was a kid. She's like, kids, I got to let me get my coffee first. I got to first wake up and figure out who in the F-U-C-K-I-M. And then I can deal with the phone calls and the people and this and that. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm figuring out who the I am right now. So anyway, guys, thank you for letting me ramble. Thank you for um, watching my YouTube videos and for especially for my rambling. I just tend to ramble and ramble and ramble. Um, it works in the classroom, but sometimes I kind of get tired of hearing myself talk on these videos. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this now. So thank you guys. Um, and I'll be back with, oh, before I go, I have two collage books that I am putting together to list in my Etsy shop because those got a lot of good feedback and there were some people who really want, want to get one. And so I'm working on two of them and I will post those. I'll do a flip through first um, and then um, post them in my Etsy store. Um, and that way it'll give people a chance to grab one. Um, and thanks for the good feedback on those. They are so much fun to make um, and I enjoy it. And that's those are the one things that I can actually like collect together in a book form. Um, and it's a lot of fun for me. I love going through my, my own stock um, and finding um, things that I think people can use in their collage work um, and that they that they like. So Anyway, okay, I got to stop here, guys, and I will talk with you later. Um, my husband's, mm, something's in there cooking, so I'm going to go eat something. Um, he's in, he's cooking something and left the area because he doesn't want to be in the video. I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> but he's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Okay, anyway, bye, guys, and thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I'll be back with more goodness. Oh, and here comes the tutorial after this video. This is sort of a long introduction. It is what it is. Bye. Hey guys, I promised I would come on here and do a video of how I avocado dye my paper. <laughs> so, um, hi everybody. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need some avocados. And um, I usually get mine from my brother-in-law, like they're already peeled. Um, for this video, I just went ahead and got some fresh ones. Um, my husband and I love to eat uh, guacamole, and we eat these with eggs. We eat them on sandwiches. We slice them um, in soups that I make, so no problem, right? So what you'll need to do, obviously, is go ahead and, and you know, if you, if you have family members who eat av avocados, guys, I keep wanting to say avocate, <laughs> but if you have... Um, people who eat avocados have them save the whole for for you um, because this is what you know this is what you need um, and then you're just gonna take them and scoop out all the goodness and these still need a little bit more time to ripen um, actually but that's what you need okay just that whole and I'm gonna actually wash this out um, with you know just the insides out it doesn't matter you don't have to but I do just so at the very end um, when I start to boil them and pour the water out into a container where I save it and freeze it um, it doesn't have a lot of the, avo the avocado um, you know the avocado remnants in it or pieces you know the leftover pieces okay so I'm just going to go ahead and gut that one. And I just have another bowl over there that I'm putting those in. And, you know, just scrape all that out. All right. So I'm going to do the rest of these and I will be back. Okay. One thing, um, guys, I was going to tell you is, first of all, I didn't use all the avocados. I used um, all but three. Okay. Um, so the other thing is, is I think I'm a little bit unclear. First of all, if you have other family members who like to eat avocados, have them save these holes for you. Okay. These skins, because you know, that's what you need to get that really pretty pink coloring. Um, the, the other thing is, is that I'm just going to wipe these out with a napkin instead of washing them. Normally I will wash them out. 
and I'm just going to kind of take a napkin and just go through and peel out that last that last little part um, of the avocado and just kind of drop them right in there because what will happen is we're going to strain this anyway so it doesn't it doesn't matter you can wash them or just wipe them out okay and this I've got a big pot of water here and I'm just going to clean these and drop them right in there I save the stickers off of my food I have a whole big old page of actually it could be sort of an en masse type of thing um, that uh, Shannon Green came up with with just food stickers with the barcodes um, it really could be that actually um, I, I don't know why my husband and I started because sometimes the food barcodes on fresh vegetables and fruits and um, different um, you know just different foods sometimes the stickers are really kind of interesting and they make cool um, I don't know smash journal images I think I'm not gonna take all of it out guys <clears throat> it's almost time to cut my nails because they are out of control <clears throat> Sorry, I have to go get another napkin. Uh, let's see. Another paper towel. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? So, what I'm working on now, um, I'm doing a lot of schoolwork and my fur baby. <clears throat> it's, it's getting time, guys, and I keep talking about it and I keep taking videos of him. I have tons of videos of him. I mean, he's been with us for a very long time, 10 years, about 10 years. And, but I'm trying my best to um, just prepare myself. And I, and I think I'm, I think I'm, I don't know. You're, I don't know. It's just, you're never ready. I just, I love him so much. And he's our first dog together. And, He's so smart. He's my guard dog. He protects me, the house, my husband, my other uh, basset hound. And I don't like to say he's an other because <laughs> he's not an other. <laughs> he's our he's our baby too. He's our second baby. And we've had him for um, about two months less than we've had our, our big guy. Um, and so, yeah, I just, my there's just so much to say about my big fur baby that he's just he's so smart but again those who have animals they know no no what that's like um once you get all the avocado peeled mm, 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 mm. yum 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 now i get my avocados already like this for my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law because again they own a restaurant and they have a ton of these um avocados aren't expensive i mean aren't cheap they're very expensive and i just heard they might go up again so i don't know but anyway you don't need this many you can probably use maybe like i don't know like three avocados is good like even with these three you can make a lot of pretty water just with three okay but i put this in here just because i wanted to make a lot to coffee dye i mean to avocado dye some paper um and some index cards that's the goal for this pot okay so I'm gonna take this pot whoops sorry I bumped you around I'm gonna take this pot and start boiling and I'll be back alright guys so these are boiling so I wanted to tell you see how light the water is still the avocado um, it, so what I'm gonna do is leave it in there a lot longer so the longer you leave it in there the darker the water will get and I'm just going to let it boil, 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 and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, guys, this is another check-in. And I, what I've done is I've let this just boil. And now look how um, deeply rosy that is. So what I'll do is I'll keep, I'm going to let it sit for a while and cool. And um, I will be back when I strain it. Okay, guys, the lighting has changed a little bit, and that's because, um, that's because it's a little bit later. 
<laughs> so let me um pour what I've done is oh what I've done is I'm taking a strainer um, one of these thingies and this is my coffee that I go to bucket and it's just one of those drawers that you get from um, one of the drawers that you get from the those plastic uh, storage thingies so anyway um, okay let me grab this you can try and get this in here right what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and pour the um, mixture right through right through the straining thingy there we go that's kind of how I had in the first place okay so here goes the mixture and I just strain it um, so that I can pick up all of the little leftover um, avocado pieces and they will come um, when you start boiling it they come right out and I just winged it on how much water I put in the pot um, I did I don't measure stuff at all I'm just you know I cook like that too <laughs> um, we both do my husband and I both would cook um, and we just yeah I just wing it I don't really measure anything so and this this will be enough um, to actually coffee dye um, a lot I mean to uh, avocado dye up quite a bit so and then I'm just gonna take this shake it a little bit get the water out and pop that right there so there is your water now when I start putting my um, index cards in here let me go grab some hang on okay guys then let's see and don't worry about this little residue um, it usually will go away or stain onto it, it, it'll end up on your papers sometimes and um, actually it looks really cool it's kind of like the coffee grinds and how those end up on your um, on your papers um, so I'm just gonna dunk a bunch of cards in here I'm not there's no rhyme or reason um, I just throw them in here and let me grab my um, hang on let me get my little thing, my spoon. Just push them down in there. A lot of times I just use my hand, my uh, fingers to push them down in there. But And then of course, you know, with tea and coffee, um, your fingers get dirty. I mean, get, uh, uh, not dirty, get um, stained. <laughs> Which is, you know, everybody knows what that's all about. With avocado dye, I don't think I don't have problems with my my um, hands getting stained really, unless I just haven't really noticed or paid attention to it. So, so there's that. And sometimes the lines, you guys know this, um, the lines in 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 some index cards will go away. Um, I have I get index cards for so cheap; they're like fifty cents. Um, at one of the warehouses where I shop it's a thrift store warehouse and they're only like 50 cents and they're different brands and sometimes I get lucky and get a brand where the lines um, won't dis you know won't uh, vanish with the dye and then sometimes um, you know I get the ones where they do and so that's it guys and I probably will have enough to coffee dye or to avocado dye I keep saying coffee dye because I'm so used to dyeing with coffee um, I'll have enough in here to dye not only this stack of um, index cards now the index cards I posted on my Instagram that's a lot that's a whole um, one of these plastic things full and that's because I just coffee dye them at random um, on a whim all the time. Avocado dye takes a little bit longer because you have to boil the water now. The darker you boil the avocado, I mean the longer, I can't talk, I just woke up guys. <sighs> I'm off on Fridays. Uh, I work Monday, teach Monday through Thursday but Fridays I don't teach any classes and I've been napping and sleeping <laughs> so I'm kind of like woo. <laughs> uh, anyway, the longer you dye the avocado water, the darker it'll get. But it also sort of, you know, um, the water 
up, you know, gets lower or whatever you want to call it. So, okay, so then I will leave these in here. Now, the longer you leave these in here, the darker they will be also. The longer you leave the paper in the avocado dye, the darker the pink will be. Um, I tend to use it, you know, leave these in here for, oh my gosh, guys. I just kind of, I wing it, honestly. I leave them in here for, for quite a while, maybe about... Oh, I don't know. That's about an hour. Sorry, that was my refrigerator. That wasn't my stomach or any other parts of my body, <laughs> if you heard that. Um, anyway, I tend to leave it in here for at least like, you know, maybe an hour or so. But sometimes if I want lighter uh, pink paper, um, then I'll just dunk it and take it out. But that's really light. I mean, you you literally have to leave your paper in for it to actually hold the beauty of this dark uh, rose and the you know some of the um, lighter colors um, but that's pretty much it now let me show you where I actually uh, put my uh, index cards okay so you're gonna get a shadow um, because I'm actually in my dog's room they have their own room our house is tiny but excuse me it's just us and our dogs and so they have we have uh, enough bedroom enough bedrooms to give them their own space so I'm in their room and right here is sort of where um, their room gets the warmest um, whether it's through excuse me the window or our heater so I'm just gonna throw these down um, and this is what they look like now when I coffee dye actual paper though however um, I let it sit in the water for more than an hour and then I throw it down onto this thing here. And this is just a large, the back of a banner, a restaurant banner. Um, and I just, you know, you can dry them on anything actually, you know, whatever you want to dry them on. But I use this for my coffee. You can see all the stains over there. I use it for my coffee. Um, I use it for the avocado. Sometimes the avocado paper will pick up if I've coffee dyed on this thing sometimes the avocado papers will pick up a little bit of uh a little bit of brown and that's because uh, are you just waking up big man big stinky guy hi you feel better a little bit you feel better i hope so um so this is, that's my sick fur baby in the background, guys. His tail is wagging. I'm talking to him and he's yawning and wagging. I think he's going to try and get up now. He's barely able to use that back um, leg, but um, those peels are helping him, um, you know, not be in pain. So, but he's barely able to use that back leg. He's really hobbling now a little bit. So it's kind of, that's just where we are. So... Anyway, um, so that's it, guys. I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just laying down um, index cards <laughs> all over the place while you, while I'm talking to you guys. So I'll just let these got let these out. Come here, you want to go out? I'll let these um, dry. And what I'll do is um, I'll let them dry. And then what I'll do is keep using the water, but when I get to the big, large pieces, large pieces of paper, <laughs> sorry, um, I will leave them in the water. I'll dry all of these, and then I'll just leave my papers in the water, um, so you can kind of see how that goes. Just leave the papers in the water a lot longer. So these will turn out really pretty. I'm going to leave some, however, um, in the mix, and so it'll get nice and they'll, they'll get nice and dark. Okay, and I think the last part of this video I will show you, whoops, sorry, I'll show you when they actually dry, um, but I'll, I'll do some paper and I'll just do a last a last little part of the video. I hope this helps, guys. This video really shouldn't have been this long, um, but you know me, gab, gab, job, 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 talk, 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 <laughs> the gift of gab. <laughs> um so anyway, I'll come back when these have dried um, and do an end part and show you what the paper uh, papers look like. I, I'll dry these here in the the bowl, the bowl, and then I'll put some papers in here and show you. Okay, all right, I'll be back later. Bye. 
Okay guys, this is just a minor little update. I can't believe this video is turning out to be so long. I think I'm being dramatic um, in the sense that I shouldn't, but I want to show you guys everything. You know how it is when you want to show everything and I'm like that. See those, um, those little orange spots right there? Those are from the paper just kind of sitting on top and that comes from the actual color of the avocado before it changes to this really pretty pink right there. So there's some more there. And that's what I mean by avocado dye paper not being that true, true pinkish baby pink like you'd get in Kool-Aid um, dye paper. But Kool-Aid dye paper is so pretty too. Um, let's see. These are just some of the cards. And I took some drops um, of the dye and just kind of... Um, this was like that, but some of these I just kind of spread it, it out a little bit. Um, let's see if there's some more pink ones. You can see the colors on that. And these are still drying as well. And this is kind of right in front of our um, central heat, so that's why they... I, you could put these in the oven. That's another thing I was going to tell you guys, too. Like, you could put these cards in the oven, and they would, you know, they would just do like coffee dye paper, guys. But it's really a lot of fun. I ripped some right here. Um because it kind of got stuck to the top of other ones. And then I still have um, papers drying over here. Not drying, I'm sorry, dying. And I'm just going to leave those in there for a while because the longer you leave them in, the prettier the color comes out. Okay, so I think the last thing I will do, so this video is not, there's no way a video of just coffee dyeing avocado should take this long, but I don't know, I just wanted to show you my process. <laughs> it probably could be shortened, like, by a lot, but you know me, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so anyway, okay, the last thing I'll do when I come back um, is I will show you what these all look like um, when they're dried, okay? And um, that'll be the end of this avocado dye process. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, it's still a little bit dark. Um, the, the lighting in here is not that great. Um, it's raining. <laughs> Um, so anyway, what I wanted to show you is here are the results and the camera is not picking up how pretty and pink these are. They're sort of a um, really light pink. Now, let me show you the difference between dipping them and letting them sit for only a few minutes like these versus um, these. So I've let these sit overnight and the pink in this is gorgeous. Um, and I'll start pulling these apart here in a little bit. And then you'll see how how nice and uh, grungy pink these are. Um, and then I put some paper in here, and this paper has set, and it's starting. Uh, well, it has turned, so it'll be that nice um, dark uh, pink that I like. I like the variations of the lights and the darks. And these stains will stay on there. You guys know that if you coffee dye, how that works. So I'm going to take some of the, these out. These were in here overnight, um, and put them on the dry mat over here thingy banner thingy um and then i'll come back later when they've dried and show you what they look like uh in better lighting than than um this room here okay all right i'll be back oh guys i wanted to show you um before i let these dry and then show you what these look like look at this set of avocado papers index cards and you can see how they vary they're so pretty you can use, um, because, my dog is yawning, because um, avocado dye takes a little bit of time, right? And, of course, avocados are expensive. <laughs> um, at least they are for here, for us they are. Um, you could use um, Easter egg. Now, I've never Easter color dyed, Easter egg dyed paper, but um, I know Kristen at Rock Paper Treasures, man, she makes some beautiful, beautiful Easter egg dyed paper. Um, the difference, I think, I'm, I'm not a thousand percent, not even, you know, half percent, any percent sure, but the difference in coloring is this Easter egg pink is going to be a true, light, happy um, Easter pink um, 
avocado dye is more of a dingy almost like a antique brownish pink coral kind of and it depends on how long you leave it in the water like these I left in the dye for overnight and they were just on top of um, this paper here so and these little pieces these little avocado pieces they're they're like coffee grinds but they go away they usually will cling to like one or two pieces of the paper but it's really fascinating because they dry into the paper um, and so I'll come back when um, I take these out and they have dried um, and lay them out maybe I'll come back and show you what they look like sprayed out over the table but I just wanted to show you the difference between um, leaving the index cards in for a dip and an out and versus leaving them in for like overnight so these will be, these will have some really pretty coloring to them okay um, let's see there's something else I was gonna tell you guys and I forgot again Oh well, I'll think of it. I'm making notes. <laughs> okay, bye. For now. Okay guys, I lost a little bit of footage and it probably is just as well because my dog, my basset hound was barking like crazy and I, you barely could hear me. So anyway, um, what I was showing on the last part um, is how the coloring of these came out and I'll probably take a video of these outside um, this is this is all the papers dried and I'll probably do these like outside so you can see the different patterns on them um, and how they turned out um, they some of the patterns are pretty cool and there's that one that's just a, the label and here's some that are pretty dark here they look kind of yellow, yellowy because of the lighting. I'm in my dog's room and it's kind of, the, the lighting is kind of yellow. So those came out really pretty. Again, you could, the, probably the easiest way I would argue to get pink paper is use food coloring. Um, <clears throat> because this takes a little bit of time, but I will say that uh, avocado dye is way, way, way more um, vintage looking and more uh, grungy and it's kind of that pink with the browning so it's it just the coloring is just so unique and so pretty um, and very very um, pink grungy dusky pink so these are the cards and I'll, I'll take a, a picture a better picture of these outside <coughs> excuse me <coughs> <coughs> so here are these the cards then the papers, um, I just pulled these up on the video that I it didn't come out so good. So here are the pink um, edgings of that. You can kind of see a little bit. And some of the stains on these papers came out really, really cool. There's some there and, and there. So I just lay these out and they dried overnight in front of a heater that's not always on, but um, I don't oven dry. I haven't oven dried avocado paper, but I imagine it would come out just as pretty and nice as um, coffee dye uh, paper in the oven. But the sound of these is still really pretty and crispy because um, I know a lot of people like that noise. So I will come back and do a video of these um, outside in natural lighting um, so that you can see how pretty <clears throat> these turned out. Um, only one of these sort of ripped and got ruffled up and here and that's because of these nails that are about to come off um, like soon because I, I can't handle it and my hands are so dry, my cuticles are so dry so from from the dying but yeah these these babies are coming off clip 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 snip 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 um, I work so much better without them um, but anyway that's that's the only one but I will still keep this <clears throat> for my collage art supply collage book because I think it's still very very worthy okay and then by the way I'm still over here um, dying some and I usually will just take a about a half an inch of these or a little bit more 
of these and just throw them on the paper there's the paper right there and this is 20 pound paper by the way so it's a 20 pound weight paper and I just get huge uh, bolts of it um, at a thrift warehouse where I shop sometimes it's office max sometimes it's um, uh, what do you call it staples sometimes it's other it's really good brands um, you know the um, oh, what do you call it paper mill or something like that or Georgia Pacific or you know those kinds of brands too so <clears throat> anyway okay guys I will end it here I hope this video was helpful I'm sorry it's so long um, it, it took me a while to do this but I just you know um, I nap a lot during the weekends um, and yeah <laughs> so I did a bunch of napping while this was drying in between and that's why the videos are so choppy um, but hopefully it was helpful if you have questions you can just ask me um, just leave a comment down below and um, yeah this is probably not the um, it's not actually it's not that bad um, it takes a little while just getting the the, the boiling I think but in the drying you just kind of have to I just throw stuff in the water let it sit there for a day or some hours or whatever throw it down on this plastic thing and just let it dry and um, the papers come out really pretty so anyway I hope this was helpful um, but feel free to ask questions um, and I will be back with I've got I'm trying my best to finish up some custom orders that I have I'm just so slow on those and it's just so not fair, um, which is why I may just stop doing custom orders altogether um, unless they are just really tiny um, little things because I just procrastinate um, this time, not usually. Um, I pro have procrastinated on them working on other stuff, school stuff, and, you know, and my fur baby. And I just haven't gone very fast <laughs> like I should. Um, I tend to work faster on things that um, aren't required or aren't specific. So, yeah, that's how it goes, um, which is why I'm not doing custom orders um, right now. Okay, I got to go. I got to go let my fur baby out. He's hobbling around. So, order le plus, salle le plus, and I'll be back.